We call ourselves Inuit, and it just means human being. Oh, so I'm an Inuit too. Yeah. I can run for Congress in Greenland. I'm Paula Froelich. Take a journey with me to explore the unknown and discover the unexpected. This is Abroad Abroad. The adventure starts now. On my trip to Greenland, I was down for anything, from dressing like a local to trying out fun traditional sports like kick the seal and pull my finger. But my dreams of dog sledding across the Arctic or seeing the northern lights were dashed by an unexpected blizzard. I caught a bad case of cabin fever and even braved a blackout. But although I thought that was scary, I had another thing coming. Little did I know, Greenland has a 5,000-year-old dance form called Wirenerk, or mass dance. And let me tell you, it's kind of terrifying. The most important part was that you have to teach children about fear. Imagine if you're out alone in your little kayak, you meet something and you freeze, you will drown. If you learn how to deal with that, you'll become a very strong human being. So the masked dancer will never be announced. One dark evening after dinner, a being will suddenly appear. <laughs> But it's not just about scaring the crap out of you. Besides providing entertainment, the mass dance has a racier purpose, fertility rituals. You kind of made fun of sexuality. For instance, a man will be dressed up with humongous breasts. The women who are doing the mass dance will have some other male parts uh, attached to their body. After getting my very own performance, I learned a bit more about Greenlandic culture, and I started to detect the theme. When you live on an island that's covered with ice, survival instincts are pretty important, and that means respecting a vengeful sea goddess called the Mother of the Sea. She lives down in the ocean and looks after all the animals, but also what's happening on land, that people don't pollute, that people don't hunt for fun. She's like the original gangster or conservationist, and you really don't want to let anything go to waste or take more than your share. She'll get very, very angry and lock up all the animals so people on land can starve. Greenlanders always try to stay on her good side by using every part of the animal and treating nature with reverence. So I heard about the long walk, about how culturally the elderly people who felt that they weren't of use anymore would just walk out onto the ice. Until 40 years ago, there was outcasts, and outcasts are men who just disappeared in the big, vast nature. Not a good hunter, didn't get the love they want when their pride was damaged. It is told that those who survive will gain Hours. Who the heck can survive out there? I mean, I can barely survive and I'm a nuke. It's a big town. Just saying, I got like nine layers on. Yeah, yeah. It's still cold. On the next episode of Abroad Abroad, I do fine dining, Greenland style, which is not as weird as you'd think. 